Hey guys, so I'm coming at you with um, a video on what I'm actually using on my virgin Indian hair to make sure that I give it that longevity that it needs. I know that when watching a lot of reviews, a lot of people tell you the importance of actually co-washing your hair, but for me, I feel it's a little bit misleading to talk about the conditioning of your hair and not shampooing. Um, remember that when you go outside, I mean, your skin, your hair, everything about you is affected by the outside environment. So whether that be dirt, debris, um, wind effects, um, and then also just buildup. Um, you have to shampoo your hair before you actually wash it because remember, this hair is 100% virgin. So just as your natural hair needs that shampooing, so does your virgin hair. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is telling you guys about the shampoo that I'm using that is giving me life right now, um, which is actually the Ion Inspired by Nature shampoo. And this one actually is the Luxury Moisture Shampoo. Um, now, to tell you a little bit about this product, I purchased it from Sally's a while ago. Um, it was actually originally, I think, $9 or $10. Um, and for me, to be trying a new product, that's a little bit expensive for me um, if I don't really know too much about it. But I'm all about trying new products and just seeing what works for my hair and just protecting my natural hair as well. So got this product um and let me tell you why i initially got it um now it said that it comes with um three with triple butter complex meaning three essential butters in it um which it contains a natural shade capucha and mora butters i believe is how you pronounce it um here so alongside that um, i looked on the back just to see the other ingredients that it contains and i automatically noticed that there was no alcohol in it. Um, if you girls don't know, um, that's definitely essential to look for to make sure that it doesn't contain alcohol. And if it does, make sure that it doesn't contain it within at least the first four products. Um, because your first four products are going to be the main ingredients that's in the product altogether. But this particular um, shampoo um, also contains other essential oils and things I'm looking at. Um, pumpkin seed oil, um, passiflora, looks like seed oil. Um, what else did I see in it? Um, fruit extract. Um, I'll be a lot of different things in it. But and nowhere in this did it contain alcohol. So I fell in love with that. And also it stated that it was 100% vegan, meaning that it has no animal byproduct in it and it also has never been tested on animals. So for this for me, I fell in love with it. So took it home and fell in love with this, y'all. When I say that this works better than any herbal essence that's out there or the Dove Intensive Moisture, I think it is. Um, y'all, when I tell you this is definitely worth the investment, go to Sally's. Now, not to, you know, hype up the product too much because I'm definitely going to give you guys my honest review. When I say get the product, um, I would definitely recommend also going to Sally's because along with me having a Sally's card that knocks it down, there are also bundle packaging as well as Sally's. So I also got the Luxury Moisture Conditioner. So I actually use both of these in combination with one another. So I actually have my hair installed in now for um, actually about two weeks. So now it's actually about time for my washing and um, conditioning process so I'm actually going to do that now show you guys um, the results as I come back of doing that and just show you guys literally on camera how well this product works and how easily I can move my fingers through it and you'll actually see the instant luster and moisture on it and then we'll go ahead and continue on with the remainder of the products that I'm using to give my weave that longevity.
normally I let it air dry probably for about two to three hours um, you know while I'm just kind of getting ready or what have you or just chilling around the house but I actually start doing like a whole bunch of other stuff so it's been drying now for about six or seven hours so it's like completely completely bone dry um, but I haven't done anything to it no type of heat styling anything like that at all no products have been applied and this hair is back to normal and as you guys can see um, on my leave out here around the edges, I actually kind of put this into a twist or what have you, um, which is, this is the length of my twist, kind of a sidebar hair because a lot of you guys have asked to see like my natural hair and how long that is and have actually commented on it. So this is the side of my hair right here and this is the very, very top and let me show you guys that. Because I'm definitely all into protecting my natural hair and definitely keeping that growing as well while I have my um, insulation. But yeah, with this air dry, this is the length that it comes to about here. This size is a little shorter because I just clipped my ends recently when I had uh, to the right part. But this is how long the very middle piece comes to. And um, a few of you guys who have already seen my natural hair, you guys have actually requested to see a video on what I actually use on my hair to keep that growing. So that's going to be coming very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. So what I'm going to show you guys basically now is the products that I actually use on my hair after allowing it to air dry. And basically, um, the first thing that I really do um, is actually, um, again, I'm using a product by Ion, inspired by nature. This is the nourishing oil treatment that I'm using. Um, you know, I, I, I actually purchased this after I got the shampoo and conditioner. I was like, hey, why not try this as an oil treatment versus, you know, the brand that everybody else uses, um, the, um, Moroccan oil, the argon oil, um, or either it's another one that a lot of people use. But I was like, let me try this one. Um, and let me tell you why I got this one. Alongside, I like the shampoo and conditioner. I also got this one because it also stated that it would smooth the hair, reduce frizz, split ends, and also serve as a heat protectant over the hair. So um, essentially what I do is just take a squirt bottle, which I love these bottles, um, again, because they give you the exact amount that you need. But basically just apply about, I have probably used about two squirts here to do my entire head. So I just take that and kind of work my way from the ends up. Because just like your natural hair, um, it's been exposed to the most like atmospheric changes and heat styling and all that. So you want to start from the bottom and just kind of work your way up here. Just giving the hair just a little slight gloss. And to be honest, I might help too much. One square, actually, to be honest, for first application may even be enough. So, just applying that in the hair, getting that in really, really good. All right, and then the excess I'm just gonna put up here. But for my leave out, um, to be honest, guys, I like to use something a little bit different on that. Um, I ran across this product back in like February or so. Um, this is the mango oil and the almond oil serum. And this one is specifically designed um, for process free straightening for natural hair. Um, so I got this same thing from Sally's. Um, I think this one was like $7.99. Uh, but I got this one also can be used for thermal, um, thermal smoothing serum. Um, and it basically protects your hair and then it doesn't have any type of greasy buildup and smells so good. So I take just a, about a half a squirt on that one and just apply that here to my leave out like so, making sure I rub that completely in. And actually, let me get a little, little bit more. There. Working that in. And also let me take my little twist out on the side. I just didn't want that to get like too frizzy and rough there. So I just twisted that up on the side. Woo. Did I twist it up too much? Okay, there we go. So apply that here on the side. Then I have a little baby twist here on this side. 
I didn't have that much leave out on this side. Like so. All right, and then my last and final step that I'm going to do before doing any type of heat styling is I actually use, um, to be honest, guys, two different products for my um, my heat protectant. Um, this one by BioTerra. Uh, basically, I think this one, let's see if you guys can see that. This one by BioTerra. And this one basically is just called their Thermal Protecting Styling Spray. Um, this one I actually use on my natural hair um, for two reasons. Um, one, because it actually sustains temperatures up to 450 degrees. So I know that if, um, you know, if I'm going to be applying a good amount of heat to my hair, especially with my flat irons, the GVP flat irons, I'm going to want something that's going to protect it fully. Um, the second reason why I use this one on my natural hair is because of the fact that um, it also has like some type of holding agent as well. So not just like a heat protectant, but also kind of just a, a slight holding spray in it as well. So it definitely sets your curls and makes them last rather than a lighter um, sheen that you'll have to reapply every single time, you know, you curl it. So with this, my curls will last a lot longer. I can go like maybe um, at least like three to four days without having to apply any additional heat to my hair. So Spray a couple of squirts of this, let it air dry for probably about two minutes, and it's good. Um, and then the very last thing that I do, again, before applying any type of heat to my hair, is take my handy-dandy silk elements here that I also got from Sal. I'm loving Sally's, guys, but I take this, get this from Sally's, and I apply this, um, just a few sprays, maybe three to four sprays to the hair itself. And that's, to be honest, for the most part, it. Um, and... Like I said, after that, I don't really do too much heat styling to my hair. Um, I, you know, of course, you know, may curl it and things like that. But as far as like applying more products, that's for the most part it until my next co-wash. Um, if anything, I may apply a little bit more of this serum on there um, and a little bit of this one. Um, but other than that, you know, I'm good to go for at least the next week or two. So I hope that with these steps that I gave you guys, um, it definitely is a little bit more helpful to you guys. Give you some more options as far as what products you can try without having to worry about trying everything else that, you know, everybody out there is trying. So um, if you don't like it. After you've tried it, um, if you don't know Sally's policy, um, as long as you have the receipt and you return it within 60 days, no matter how much is left in the bottle, you can return it for a full refund. So, I mean, anything is worth trying at Sally. So, I tried their product, I'm hooked, and I probably would not be changing for a long time unless I find something else that may be comparable to it, but I can't see that happening anytime soon. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I will be back at you guys once I actually do my thermal styling on my hair. Um, so that'll be coming in the next uh, day or so and also like I said also showing you guys how I'm protecting my natural hair underneath and in between my installations. So love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye